Hello everyone, and welcome to my Bachelor Official YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. After being together for two and a half years, Nick Vile, a former bachelor, proposed to Natalie Joy, his fiance, earlier this year. Also last month, the couple just took to online entertainment to share that they are expecting their most memorable youngster together. Presently, Scratch and Natalie are getting genuine on his web recording, where they talked about the ups and downs of pregnancy up to this point. As well as feeling incredibly wiped out, Natalie shared that while she's so thankful to be pregnant, she's been battling with self-perception as her tummy develops. She said, I'm a few seconds ago going through this. I had a second where I nearly separated. Assuming this sounds withdrawn, if it's not too much trouble, stop me. Yet I'm somebody who has been a similar weight and size, essentially my entire grown-up life. I've been extremely fortunate and favored to not battle with that. In any case, pressing for this excursion, I hauled things out that were really loose on me similar to dresses and skirts, and afterward once I arrived, nothing fit. None of these garments were fastening. Natalie went on, saying, It seems like such a psychological fight since you know you're pregnant, and that you are so fortunate and favored to have the option to have a child. That is a particularly mysterious thing. And yet your body is changing so a lot, and that is something that I'm most certainly not used to. It's been truly difficult for me to isolate the two. I am having a child. This is essential for the cycle. However, I a little while ago popped. Also, she shared that it feels disengaging on occasion, since she would rather not be inhumane toward anybody's pregnancy battles, so she doesn't have the foggiest idea how and when to vent. Natalie said, I know it's such a delicate subject to discuss pregnancy and what amount of time you got pregnant, or how it required for you. Being pregnant is genuinely such a gift, and we truly are so fortunate. Yet I wish it was somewhat more standardized to discuss how hard it is. Going through this interestingly, there are such countless changes, and it's a particularly mental fight. She added, I need to have the option to vent about that and not feel terrible. I am so honored and I am so appreciative, and I truly feel that. Simultaneously, I likewise have a ton of befuddling sentiments about being in such a lot of torment, and my body changing, and the feelings of trepidation that accompany being pregnant. Scratch shared that the pregnancy has been an excursion up to this point, and he's simply giving his best for help Natalie. It makes me feel like I'm doing my part by helping her feel okay with feeling whatever it is that she's feeling and not making it a thing. The former bachelorette stated, There is no off-base or terrible inclination in pregnancy. I'm only here to help anything that feeling is. We're proceeding to want Scratch and Natalie to enjoy all that life has to offer as they get ready to become guardians. Look at a greater amount of their discussion underneath. Joe Amabel and Serena Pitt are crawling mirror to saying, I do briefly time. Wedding prep, Pitt, 25, subtitled an Instagram pic on Thursday, August 31, of the couple eating pasta in Charleston, South Carolina. The alums of season seven of The Bachelor in Paradise previously stated that they planned a destination wedding in the southern state. Why Charleston, South Carolina? We only sort of arbitrarily picked the spot. But it's beautiful, the 37-year-old Amabel told us weekly, exclusively in July. Furthermore, we truly experienced passionate feelings for our scene when we strolled in. In front of Workday Weekend, Amabile and Pitt's wedding visitors are updating them as often as possible on their itinerary items for the unique day. See you all soon, individual Bip alum Abigail Herringer, who got connected with Tanoa Herb last month, spouted by means of her Instagram story on Thursday. Pitt reposted the virtual entertainment snap, 
spouting that it was the ideal day to travel to Charleston. In a second Instagram story post on Thursday, Pitt, who first appeared on Matt James' season 25 of The Bachelor, wrote, Thanks to everyone who sent positive messages about the weather. The tempest has passed. Individuals are flying in and being an extraordinary end of the week for a wedding is going. Soon thereafter, the couple went out to supper with a portion of their unexpected appearances. Pitt chose a dish gown in white with no straps, thereby establishing her status as a bride. The night finished up with a dance party at a nearby bar, which Amabile shared film of through his Instagram story. The couple, who tied the knot at a New York City courthouse last year, were joined in the video by several Bachelor Nation contestants, including Herringer, 28, and Andrew Spencer. Amabile and Pitt met on the Bip Ocean side in 2021, getting connected with during the season final. In October 2022, they shopped unhitched male fans when they precipitously went to a New York City town hall and got hitched. At the beginning of the wedding planning process, we thought, this is going to take a while. For what reason don't we take out the marriage thing? Amabel stated at the time in an episode of his now-defunct clickbait podcast. We figured it would be entertaining. Some of our friends did it. Pitt and Amabel always planned to have a second ceremony because they forgot to pick up their wedding rings in time for the last-minute ceremony. I think it was really abnormal from the beginning. Although not in a bad way, it has taken me a little while to get used to saying husband. Like it's amusing to say, we love saying it. Pitt let us know in July, coaxing that she chose two wedding outfits for the Charleston festivity. It's simply we were just ever life partners for, similar to, 18 months, and presently we're a couple. The pair additionally uncovered to us at the time that they were busy composing their marital promises. The ceremony will be officiated by Wells Adams, a bartender at BIP who was there when they first started dating. Lone Wolf in Heaven alum Raven Entryways Gotchalk is sharing insights concerning her past and impending C-segment. She had a crisis C-segment with her most memorable child Entryways and with sharing why she is having a booked C area with child number two. To figure out the subtleties, Raven was ready to impart to fans. It's drawing nearer to Raven Entryways Gotchalk, preparing to convey her second kid with her significant other Adam. As she approaches her due date, which is around 10 weeks away, she's opening up more about why she is deciding to have another C-segment. Lone Ranger Country shared what Raven needed to say regarding her most memorable sea area with entryways, and presently her impending one with her subsequent child. In April, she made the decision to have another C-section. Be that as it may, she needed to protect her decision when many fans came at her hammering her for her choice. Raven rushed to bring up that it wasn't her decision. Initially, Raven anticipated attempting to have a vaginal birth the second time around. Nonetheless, medicinally it's impractical for her right now. She said, with this pregnancy, sadly because of an issue with my placenta, I'm not ready to pursue a VVAC with this pregnancy. This is a completely different problem than the one I faced with Gates. His was an emergency C-section, but after I had my anatomy scan, we knew right away that a vac was not safe for me or the baby. Concerning her C area with child doors, Raven said it was a crisis and would not have benefited from outside input. She stated, The birth of Gates was a little bit traumatic for me. I will not dive into the subtleties, yet I had a crisis C segment subsequent to pushing around 50% of his head out they needed to push him back within me to make the cut. Furthermore, much more I could make sense of however, I truly don't have any desire to share. Raven likewise had a directive for other people. She said no mother ought to be disgraced in view of their choice to have a C-segment. 
Even if it's optional, it's their decision, and nobody knows why other people do what they do. In general, be caring and strong of others. Concerning the orientation of child number two, Raven and Adam truly do understand what they are having. Notwithstanding, she uncovered that since they have held up this long they chose to feel free to stay quiet about it until their new child is conceived. What is your take on Raven discussing her sea areas with fans? Have you gone through anything like this? Remain tuned for additional updates as her due date draws near. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.